Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this video, we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite math topic. And of course, that is fractions. Well, that's a little bit of a joke because most students, when they think about fractions, are like, fractions? I don't want to do fractions. And uh, specifically, when we have to add and subtract fractions, that's when you have to start thinking about this stuff like the lowest common denominator and the like. And I remember way back in the good old days when I was a math student and, uh, you know, uh, basic math, which is maybe like 40 years ago, I didn't even like fractions. But I'm going to show you a way where you can add fractions very, very easily without having to think about the LCD, which is the lowest common denominator. Now, you need to understand the LCD, and it's not that difficult. Of course, a lot of students, um, you know, get confused about this, but I'm going to give you a method that you absolutely want to know in order to add and subtract fractions. It is super helpful, not only in arithmetic, but in algebra as well. But uh, if you could figure this problem out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then I'm going to show you uh, two ways to do this problem. We'll do it uh, using the LCD uh, or the lowest common denominator. And then I'm going to show you this fantastic math uh, shortcut. It's probably my favorite uh, math shortcut in all of mathematics. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathcannery.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here we have three eighths and we wanna add it to one fifth. Pretty straightforward problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. The answer is 23 over 40. Okay, so if you got that right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, A 100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you know how to add fractions. Now, clearly you know how to add fractions because you were able to do this problem. But uh, this particular problem is a pretty easy problem. Okay, there is certainly much more challenging fraction problems than this. But uh, nevertheless, you, if uh, you got this right, that is great. Now, if you got this wrong, that's great too, because that shows me that you uh, need a quick review on how to add fractions, and you could definitely benefit. Uh, even if you got this right, you could definitely benefit from this shortcut. You're going to want to uh, know this shortcut. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the actual problem. Okay, so... When you're adding and subtracting fractions, you can only add or subtract fractions if the denominators are the same or they are common, right? So when we have common denominators, we're talking about these bottom numbers. These are the denominators of a fraction. The top numbers are the numerators. So the bottom numbers, the denominators must be the same. Now, in this case, we have 8 and 5. So clearly, these denominators are not the same. So we have to find a common denominator. And there is a whole bunch of different common denominators uh, uh, for the numbers 8 and 5. We want to use the lowest common denominator. Now, how we do this is a kind of lesson in and of itself. Matter of fact, let me just uh, state that I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel on fractions and LCDs, on uh, how to find an LCD, LCM, etc. But uh, I'm going to highly suggest you check out one or two of my courses. I'm going to leave them in uh, the description. Uh, video. Um, it's all basic like mathematics. So like I'm talking fractions, uh, order of operations, all this kind of related stuff at this level. Okay. So I have a math foundations course. It's a little mini course that is a great basic math review. Also, I teach fractions in my pre-algebra course. But um, if you're shaky on fractions, you're like, ah, I'm not so sure. Well, you need to strengthen this. It's extremely important. Okay, but again, uh, this is kind of a whole nother separate topic on how you find the LCD. Now, what is the lowest common denominator between 8 and 5? Okay, well, again, different ways we can think about this. You want to think about what is the lowest number that both 8 and 5 divide into? Okay, well, hopefully you said it's 40. Okay, so the lowest common denominator is 40. And a lot of you might be saying, hey, that's pretty easy. I am an expert at the LCD. No problem. What, what if I made these denominators like 806 and 58? 
Now, at that point, a lot of you might be like, oh, come on now, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Give me a break. I don't want to deal with that problem. I'll just get my calculator. Well, you know, you're going to have to be able to handle a problem like that as well. And that's why you're really going to want to pay attention to this little uh, shortcut that I'm going to show you. Very, very powerful. All right, so the lowest common denominator is 40, meaning we need to rewrite these fractions such that the denominators down here are both 40. Okay, so this is pretty much what most of you out there um, are used to when you're adding and subtracting fractions. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to have to turn the 8 into a 40, and we're going to have to turn this 5 into a 40. So how can I get an 8? Uh, and uh, how can I change this 8 into 40? Easy, just multiply it by 5. But if I multiply this 8 by 5, I also got to multiply this uh, numerator by 5 as well. We just can't change this and not change this. So we have to multiply both the denominator and numerator by 5. So we have 5 uh, times 3, which of course is 15 over 40. So we're just changing this fraction and rewriting it such that it has a denominator of 40. Okay, how about this one here? So to change a 5 into a 40, just multiply by 8. We're also going to have to multiply the numerator by 8. So we're changing this 1 fifth into the fraction 8 over 40. So these fractions here are equivalent to our original problem. But uh, the great thing about these fractions is now they have the same denominator, Okay, the lowest common denominator, which is 40. Okay, so now we're in a position to add, very easy to add or subtract fractions when uh, the denominators are the same. So in this case, if we're uh, trying to add these fractions, which of course we are, the denominators are the same, all we need to do is add the respective numerators and put that over one of the denominators. So 15 plus 8 is 23 over 40, and this is the final answer. Now, one thing you always want to do is uh, see if you can reduce uh, this fraction down and here in this case we cannot so you are all done okay now if that's the way uh, you got your answer you know, for those of you that get um, you know got this correct that's great for those of you who couldn't get this you probably were thinking about this method you need to know how to add and subtract fractions finding the LCD etc so I'm not saying that you don't need to know this but let's suppose your brain just kind of didn't work you know, on a particular moment of time, you're like, I got to add these fractions. I just don't want to deal with the LCD. Is there another way we can add or subtract fractions? Absolutely. Okay. And this method, I like to coin the phrase the bow tie method. So let me draw my little stick figure here. So a bow tie is a tie that looks like this. Nice little bow tie. Now, the reason why I'm calling it the bow tie method, because I want you to remember this pattern like so. Now, this is not the perfect pattern, but hopefully you'll kind of remember this. So here is how this bow tie method works. All right, so you're gonna go in this exact pattern in this exact order. If you can remember this, then you can add and subtract any two fractions that are expressed, which is one numerator and denominator. So we're not talking like three and one half plus uh, one eighth. Now you could do this, you're just gonna to have to change this mixed number fraction into an improper fraction. So two times three is six plus one. You would have to change that into seven halves. So once you have two fractions where you just have a numerator, denominator, numerator, and a denominator, just like this, I, uh, like two proper or two improper fractions or improper, improper fraction, just in uh, this type of format, then you can use this method. All right, so here is how it works. It's such an awesome method. So you're gonna start in the bottom right, okay? This denominator and you're gonna to multiply to this number here. Okay, so five times three it has to be in this, uh, this exact order. Okay, so start from the bottom right, you're gonna go up. So five times three is what? 15. Okay, now you're gonna go from the bottom left and you're gonna go across this way, this diagonal. So eight times one. So whatever this numerator is, just eight times one is what? That's eight. And then lastly, you're gonna go multiply across, you're uh, multiplying the uh, denominators, eight times five is what? 40. Okay, so this is basically it. You're like, hey, is this the entire method? It is. So now our numerator, five times three is 15, plus, because we're adding, right? Eight times one is eight, all over eight times five, which is 40. 15 plus eight is 23, over 40, we are done. So that is an awesome method. And the great thing about the bow tie method 
is it works with algebra. So for example, if I had like x over 2 plus, let's say I had um, y over uh, 5, and I wanted to add these two um, algebraic fractions, it works the same way. Okay, so here would be 5 times x, which would be 5x plus, I'm adding here, 2 times y is what? 2y all over 2 times 5, which would be 10. Okay. All right. So again, you know, um, uh, I'm not trying to say that you don't need to understand the LCD or the LCM, all these lovely things that you learn in basic mathematics. You absolutely need to understand this stuff. But uh, the bottom line is this. If you're faced with a problem and you just need to get the answer, you know what? You can always use the bow tie method. This is something you definitely want to put in your math toolkit. Okay, so hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.